Freshman Fantasies, Eight First-Time Gay Romance Short Stories, Written by Nathan Bay, Narrated by Zachary Zappa. Miguel smiled warmly. Attic, may I have this dance? What? Here? I looked around the empty stairwell. Uh Uh-huh. He moved closer to me and put his hand on the small of my back. You're serious? He smiled mischievously. Hurry before the song is over. Miguel, I... I've never danced with a man. Then I'll be your first. And with that, he swept me into his arms. I was seduced by the woodsy fragrance of his cologne and could feel the heat of his skin. It all seemed like a dream. Every word of the song resonated through me as we let the rhythm take over. It was a story of a night with endless possibilities, endless ecstasy. Nothing was forbidden, and now the fantasy was coming true for me. Miguel held me tight, his hips swaying close to mine. My fingers traced his strong jawline, tentative at first. I would thought he'd pull away, but he smiled against my hand. I caressed a line down his neck, brushing over the dark curls of chest hair that spilled from his open collar. As the throbbing chorus led us deeper into the dream, Miguel spun me around pulled me back into his arms, and then dipped me. I felt dizzy and drunk with lust. My cheeks flushed with heat. I liked the way he took control. He was so confident in his sexuality, like this was totally normal for him. He leaned in closer. Something familiar stirred in his brown eyes. I could feel his warm breath against my neck. His heart was pounding against my chest. Is this what you wanted? He whispered. I've fantasized about it a thousand times. I murmured. For a moment, I stopped breathing, hanging there, suspended in midair, wondering if he would bring his mouth to mine. His tongue swiped across his bottom lip, polishing it like a smooth wedge of rose quartz. Time stood still. The world melted away. He pulled me closer, and then... He raised me up and spun me again, leaving me yearning for something I could never have. He pulled me back to him and rested his cheek against mine. I don't want to lose you again, he whispered, 